Hi guys, this is Austin from AnnieInstructor.com and in today's video, I'll be going through a book review of the Big Book of Dashboards. Let's get started. So, you've been looking around for the best reference books for your real-world dashboard needs and you've actually found this book, the Big Book of Dashboards, but you're not sure if it's worth it. But do not worry, that's what I'll be going through today with each detail of each part of the book. Right, so here's a quick look of this book. It's pretty thick, I would say, and it's square shaped. And I bought it in the paperback version, but you can also get it for Kindle if you're interested in the ebooks version of it. And I got it for around maybe 50 US dollars to 60 US dollars. But I would say it's well worth the cost, and I'll explain more on that later. As you can see from the Big Book of Dashboards website over here called bigbookofdashboards.com, you can see that they describe this book as presenting a comprehensive reference for those tasked with building or overseeing the development of business dashboards. I would have to agree with that, definitely, and have benefited from it as well. So. This dashboards book was actually published in 2017 and it actually weighs quite heavily and is in the form of a square shape and it's quite handy uh, for you to carry around as a reference guide which I've already mentioned. So this book would usually be used for a reference and it should not really be used as a textbook or instructional guide. The three main authors of the Big Book of Dashboards are Steve Wexler, Jeffrey Sheffer, and Andy Cotgreef, as you can see from this website here. So all three of them are very experienced in data visualizations, especially in Tableau. So all of them have some kind of experience creating dashboards, data visualizations, and being Tableau Zen masters. And Andy is even the technical evangelist at Tableau Software as well. So I would say it's a strong plus for me that these three orders are experts in the data visualization field. And I would say I would trust them to give me advice for making my own dashboards. This book is mainly split into three main content pillars that provide a good balance of information from introductions and foundations to tips and tricks like best practices. So the three main content pillars of this book include a strong foundation, the scenarios, and as well as succeeding in the real world. These three content pillars of this book make this book outstanding, where the strong foundation will give you data visualization foundations, the scenarios will give you scenario-based dashboard applications, and succeeding in the real world would give you dashboard best practices and pitfalls to avoid when creating dashboards. So I'd say, well balanced. Now let's have a deeper look into the first section of this book, which is a strong foundation. So what I really like about this book is that it provides basic statistics and charts and helpful information for beginners in terms of foundation when creating a dashboard. So it will introduce to you the elements of a dashboard and even has this section where there is a I'm not sure if you can see, but it's a scary cat or a screaming cat. It usually indicates bad graphs that I shouldn't take after. So that's a good indicator and very intelligent of the authors to include. Now that you've seen the first section, let's move on to the second, which is the most juicy part, the scenarios. So in this section of the book, each part will be split into different chapters where they'll be covering different dashboards for different scenarios. What I really like about this section is that it provides firstly an example sample dashboard and followed by some other information about the different charts and why they are included in the dashboard and as well as some author's commentary of each dashboard. So let's have a look at one of these dashboards. So one of the dashboards that was featured in the book was actually a customer satisfaction comparison dashboard that I found on Steve Wexler's profile on Tableau Public. So this, this dashboard shows that it is actually easy to implement into your own dashboards and is possible to be applied to your dashboards in your scenarios. So 
you can play with this for yourself and I've included that link to this page and this dashboard in the description below. Now we've come to the final section of this book which is succeeding in the real world. So this section was really useful for me because it helps me to expose all the problems I've been making and all the mistakes I've been making for dashboards and also provide me with some best practices for creating dashboards and also how to avoid some of the pitfalls. So if you're a beginner like me, this would be really useful for you as well. And it will also be useful for data visualization enthusiasts to better understand the different best practices when creating a dashboard. So I'd really recommend this to anyone who's interested in data visualization in general. So in summary, I recommend this book because of the high value real world business problem dashboards that were reviewed as well as the great data visualization advice that is great for both beginners and advanced data visualization developers. So it's a big yes for me. If you prefer an in-depth review of this book, you can also check out my blog at anyinstructor.com slash big that's anyinstructor.com slash big for a complete review of this book or if you've already decided to get this book for yourself you can use the Amazon link in my description below or on my blog to get a copy for yourself thank you so much for watching bye